Shalom. Hello again. Well, here is the Israel by Divine Right music video. That is, we have what we call a music video, the scenes of the series that you have seen, beautiful uh, video of Israel, uh, with the music that we used in the programs. And of course, uh, the music is a, a, a cassette called Israel by Divine Right. And we've taken selections from it as we uh, play the various scenes in the programs. Uh, <clears throat> The first program had the song, Song of Abraham, which was appropriate for the beginning of Israel's divine right, that is God's promise to Abraham. Uh, when I was in music school, I, I composed little songs, and before I came to the Lord, I have a musical background. People have written in and say, how, how can you just, or does Zola really write the songs and so on? I sure do. Uh, that was my field uh, before my conversion, and I... Uh, Went to Indiana University, had a master's degree in music there and all the courses for the doctorate. I played in the New Orleans Symphony in San Antonio and with uh, Glenn Campbell show tours back then. And I'm talking about 60s and 70s. And uh, uh, then I, I came to the Lord. I really shouldn't say conversion. Well, I'm Jewish and I like to say I just a completion or, or uh, accepted my Messiah. But in any case... Um, then I started to compose for the Lord, and uh, these songs started to come to me, the kind that you hear on the programs. A song like the Song of Abraham is, is out of ordinary human experience. I think we all maybe hear the Lord's voice when we're alone, especially maybe alone in the night. Uh, the song itself says, sometimes in the, in the night I, or in a dream I hear you call to me. And I started with the kind of dream music kind of... Some harmonies lend themselves to dream-like sequences. Sometimes in a dream I hear you call to me. Late at night or when I wake, you call to me. Lord, can that be you? Lord, what shall I do? Is it really you who calls my name? If there's something I must do for you Whisper in my ear what I must do for you Lord, can that be you? Lord, what shall I do? Is it really you who calls my name? As you have promised and 
Israel itself is a beautiful and musical sound, and I used it uh, in several of the songs. One called Israel says just this, Israel, in my prayers I pray for Israel. In my dreams I dream of Israel. You are my hope of blessed hopes. And then in the song, Israel is our land, uh, more defiantly in the pages of Scripture, in the law of the Bible, in the words of the prophets, Israel is our land on the hills of Jerusalem in the forests of Galilee, by the waters of the Jordan. Israel is our land. We fought the world for this, for just a place to be, to rest our weary souls, to pray a prayer. They came to fight with us, to take our land from us. But when the battle's done, we will be there. And of course, the theme song, Israel by divine right, Israel by the word of Jehovah, Israel by the will of the Lord, Israel by divine right, Israel calling us home. By Jehovah through his prophets, how they wept for you, my Israel, Israel, Israel. In that day, the Lord will come and Lord will bow before the Promised land will see his king. 
Mariah. We will worship Messiah. We'll proclaim for eternity. Israel is our land. In the pages of Scripture, in the law of the Bible, in the words of the prophet. The heights of Mount Hermon to the lowest spot on earth. From the bustling streets of Jerusalem to the tranquil shores of Galilee. From the crystal clear waters of En Gedi to the stark beauty of an arid wilderness. The Holy Land, a place of fascinating contrast that will enrich your life, historically, spiritually. See the Holy Land with Zola Levitt. For more information, call her right today. Obviously, uh, travels through Israel are an inspiration for music, and I just seem to experience the place musically. It speaks to me. And, of course, we uh, made our cassette Israel by divine right and put all of this music on it. Uh, we offer that on our program, and on this program particularly. Uh, the cassette is $12, delivered to your mailbox. So I think it's, well, pretty much store price. And uh, this is a fully orchestrated uh, cassette with, uh, we've done, we've experimented with synthesizer, part instruments and part electronics and so on. But this one is just full orchestra and uh, our wonderful singers and uh, uh, I go to the studio myself when we make the albums. I uh, sit in on it and uh, uh, usually at this big console in the engineer's booth, it's, it's fascinating to watch how they make music nowadays. Uh, enormous 24-track tapes uh, spin through many filters and so on. But basically you have musicians playing instruments like you did in the time of Bach and Mozart and Beethoven. Uh, you can record electronically now, but and that's kind of the music you're hearing on most of television. It uh, comes out of a box. It's sampled sounds. Uh, uh, this time we used um, violins and, and trumpets and clarinets and oboes and so on. I played oboe solo myself on this one. And uh, we asked you, we had sent a letter asking for support for an orchestra, and we got it. And we thank you, and we did it, and uh, you can see the results. In the studio, I uh, make suggestions sometimes to the conductor, talk things over about the interpretation of the music. We separate the string and brass sections with partitions. It's very interesting uh, how they do it. And the soloists uh, record later. First, the orchestra lays down its tracks and, and does that perfectly. Then the singer comes. Uh, when it's all set and uh, puts on earphones so he can hear the orchestra and then sings with the tracks he hears in his phone so that the ensemble is, is just perfect.
you know, Israel is a country that uh, takes in people from so many lands. Uh, we've pointed out before, 80 languages are spoken there, and uh, naturally Africans from uh, Ethiopia, where Jewish people are welcome, uh, Russians, uh, the Jewish people there, and, you know, Gentile people too. Uh, the, the Israelis have uh, rescued people from Bosnia while, while the media is so busy criticizing Israel. Israel's busy rescuing people, uh, something uh, few nations really do do. Uh, we have turned away plenty of immigrants ourselves, and uh, it's commendable. Uh, it was a most touching thing while we were making these this uh, particular series of programs that ships were arriving from Russia uh, filled with the immigrants, and, and it was so touching, the, the footage we got when we uh, took our crew there. And, and I wrote the song, I Hear Them Singing, which simply says, I hear them singing, I hear them praying, children of Israel coming home. Friends and relations out of the nations, mighty Jehovah is bringing them home.
Well, we use the uh, music from our immigrants' dance to accompany the Feast of Tabernacles celebration, this terrific parade of uh, people gathering to celebrate at uh, Qumran. It, it seemed like a proper festive atmosphere. <laughs> Well, I often uh, regret that we can't play every bar of every song for you on the uh, music video program, but of course the cassette is longer than a half hour program. Um, I would like you to get it though, and I wish you would. Music by itself is expensive to produce, it really is, and we need to uh, sell a certain number of cassettes to keep going. We always have been able to, but uh, if you're a fan of that and you want to keep it going, I wish you would. Uh, we sell it at a store price, delivered to your mailbox for $12. So I hope you'll avail yourself of that. Just ask for the uh, Israel by Divine Right music or IDR music, uh, the cassette. Uh, but, uh, that's different than the video. Of course, the whole set of video cassettes, $99 of the whole series, and that has the portions of the songs that we played on the various programs, including all of this program. But the uh, audio cassette has every measure of every song and all the words with a word sheet and so on. So the uh, audio cassette, $12, and uh, you can get that uh, at our post office box or by calling the number on your screen with your credit card. And I always want to mention that uh, we need funds, out and out gifts, obviously. This is how we're able to produce these programs. Mm, giving you some merchandise uh, is is one way that we make some support, but obviously if we have to mail something and produce it and so on, it's it's not really as advantageous for us. If if the Lord would move you and you like these programs, please send us a gift, and uh, we'll make more of them. We plan uh, to go over on location again this year, of course, as we always do. And as we go and as you go, Sha'alu Shalom Yerushalayim, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Go.